today's video, we're gonna talk about a few different ways you can try to figure out what the date is on that system. Maybe you need to know for warranty reasons. Maybe you need to know because you're buying the house and you just wanna know how old the system is. Whatever the reason, we're gonna talk about a few ways you can figure it out Let's dive into it. First, I just wanna note that sometimes equipment, so if you have say an indoor unit and an outdoor unit, maybe you have an indoor unit, but it's a furnace and there's a coil. So there's multiple components, each of them being manufactured on different dates and sometimes being installed on different dates. So just keep that in mind, especially if things are mismatched, that's not uncommon. I think we're seeing less of it, but years ago we used to see systems mismatched all the time, different brands installed on different dates for a number of reasons. And just keep that in mind as you figure this out. I think the reason they even note that is just because you figure out the date that one of them is doesn't necessarily mean it's the same date for all of it. I remember years ago, a friend of mine was looking at purchasing a house and the house advertised that it had a brand new HVAC. And the outdoor unit was pretty new. But then as we looked more into it, we realized that everything inside was old. And all they did was replace the outdoor unit. Next place you can look is a lot of technicians, including myself, we will sometimes write on the equipment itself when we install a unit, installed on this date. It allows somebody in the future, if they're trying to figure out the warranty coverage, if they're trying to figure out how old is this system, maybe it has a 10 year warranty and where am I falling on all this? A lot of technicians will write it right there. Or if you look around the indoor unit, sometimes you might even find the paperwork and a lot of technicians will fill that out and write the install date on that. And just realize there may be a date on the equipment when it was manufactured, but the install date may be different. Sometimes equipment may sit in a warehouse or someone's shop or whatever before it's installed for months and even years. If it was a product that just for whatever reason, it just wasn't sold right away. I have seen brand new systems come in to us that we ordered and were ready to install it and the system is technically a year old. It was manufactured a year ago. Nothing wrong with it, still new, never been used, but it was manufactured a year ago. All that makes a difference when you're trying to figure out things like warranties. So now that we've got all that out of the way, what are some ways you can figure out the exact date of at least when it was manufactured. Some brands, they literally write it on there. If you can find the data plate, yeah, it's got a model and serial number, but beside that, it'll even say manufactured on this date. And if it doesn't have that, some brands put the date in the serial number. More times than not, most of the big name brands, it'll be in the first four digits. Maybe it's the third and fourth digit. And in some brands, the year is those first two digits. So if it says, 21 it was made in 2021 if it says 0321 and the third and fourth digits say 21 then that's your year now let me just say this if you're not quite sure usually just googling it will tell you if you write the brand name in the google search and then how to find out the date it'll tell you sometimes depending on the brand, which of those digits it is. Sometimes it makes a big difference. We've had systems where it might say 1315, right? And so we're like, oh, is, does this brand, is it the first two digits or the second two digits? Because it's either gonna be a 2013 or a 2015, and that might make a difference for my warranty. So usually just Googling that will get you straight. The last thing is you can look up the warranty on our website. And so if the unit was registered, or if even if it wasn't registered, sometimes some information will pop up. If you go to our website, newhvacguide.com, scroll to the bottom, click check my warranty, find your brand, click that, put your info in, the serial number. And sometimes you may need to know the original owner of the home to who that was registered for, and you gotta put their last name in there. But just putting in that information, the serial number and that last name possibly, you're gonna get something back, you're gonna get some information. It may simply say that it was manufactured on this date and it never was registered. So anyway, I hope that helps. Did I miss something? Is there a way that you figured out the date of your heating and air system and I did not go over that? Love to hear about that, comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about five upgrades that I think every HVAC system should have. Thanks for watching, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.